if you are wearing red underwear, then it means luck. <laughs> really? Yeah, so I did that for my exams and <laughs> I passed really well. Really? Yeah. I've never heard of that one. You take an exam, you wear red underwear yeah. and you can get a good score? Yeah. Really? Did it work? Yeah, it worked. Wow! <laughs> I gotta try that, although I'm not in school anymore, so... <laughs> Dang, too late. Hey guys, how's it going? It's Sean. More than most people from other countries, South Koreans take their superstitions pretty seriously. And some are quite interesting. Perhaps there are even some that are good to know for those who plan to travel here to Seoul. Let's see what some people living here in Seoul have to say about Korean superstitions. Let's go. Hi, where are you from? I'm from California. Do you have any examples of superstitions that you've experienced while living here? The main one that comes up every so often is since I'm a teacher, yeah. a lot of my students often will bring up the not writing your names in red. Because like it'll happen if like I'll write their names on the board, yeah. I have to make sure I don't use my red marker. Or if I'm grading something and yeah. I write a uh, like, nice job, if I use their name that I don't use red or that I'll change it to like a different color or I just don't write their name at all. Because like they'll also even point out like if I'll write Korea in red. They're like teacher and I'm like you guys project that onto like the whole of Korean people as yeah. well and they're like teacher please and I'm like oh, okay I'm sorry and I'll like erase it and Very stuff. Very interesting. Hi where are you from? I'm from France. Cool. When you're eating you have to put your chopsticks not in the rice but yeah. next to your bowl because okay. it means death. Have you ever done that by mistake? Never. Not once. Oh, she's perfect. Yeah. Hi, where are you from? Uh, hi, I'm from Russia. Oh, actually, I've heard a lot. I've heard about like fan. If you're going to sleep and you're going to keep uh, turn on your fan, you will die. Yeah. But I'm not really sure if it's true or not. Right. So I just like heard maybe some rumor yeah. or maybe it was some real situation. So not sure. I've also heard about that one. It, some people swear that it's true. Some people are like, oh, it's just a superstition. Correct. Do your Korean friends usually believe a lot of these superstitions? Oh yeah, like about especially for a relationship. Because uh, my friends got like experience about like she bought the shoes for her partner and the next day they broke up. Oh! Yeah, right. So, oh my god. Because they say like in Korean culture, if you're going to prepare some gift like shoes to your partner, yeah. They're going to run away. Oh my god. So it's actually happened with my friends, so I think it's true. Oh so my god. I'm going to believe. So don't buy shoes for your partner. <laughs> yeah, never buy. <laughs> a lot of these superstitions can be kind of negative. Yes. Are there any positive superstitions you've experienced here? Like if this happens, it's good luck. If you are wearing red underwear, then it means luck. <laughs> Really? Yeah, so I did that for my exams and <laughs> I passed really well. Really? Yeah. I've never heard of that one. You take an exam, you wear red underwear yeah. and you can get a good score? Yeah. Really? Did it work? Yeah, it worked. Wow! <laughs> I gotta try that, although I'm not in school anymore, so... <laughs> Dang, too late. If you can see a pig in your dream, it's for a good luck. Oh, so pigs mean good luck oh, in yeah. South Korea. Yeah. I actually am not really sure if it's a, <laughs> is it true or not, yeah. but it's kind of like superstition. Yeah. Are there any superstitions that tourists should be careful of? If you're just a tourist, I think you should be okay if you accidentally make a mistake with like writing someone's name yeah. in red ink. Like especially if you're clearly a foreigner, yeah. they're not gonna really get like drilled into like don't do yeah. this or yeah. anything. It might just casually right. come up. It's just kind of a fun cultural yeah. exploration, I suppose. Yeah. How would you you compare French superstitions to Korean superstitions? I think both countries have superstitions, but uh, we don't take that really seriously. Yeah. But maybe Koreans are more into superstitions than in French. It seems that way, right? Yeah, because yeah. for example in French, there is a superstition where we can't put the bread upside down in the table. Bread? Yeah. Wow. Because in Middle Age, we only put the bread like this for the one that killed someone. So it means really bad luck. But we don't really mind anymore. Only the old people do that. Wow. But in Korea, also young people believe in superstitions, I think. Yeah, well, that's, I think it's true. Yeah. It's definitely more a part of the culture here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The yeah. only one that I can kind of have a comparison with is the whole like evil number between like Westerners associating the number 13 with like evil and then yeah. Easterners 
associating the number four right. with like evil. We also um, have lucky seven too. We do have a lucky seven. Yeah. You are right. Yeah. I think it's not many similar things. Yeah, a lot, uh, pretty different, right? Yeah, because here like unlucky number is a four. In Russia, we have unlucky number like six and thirteen. Uh, okay. So which is not really similar and why uh, six? Uh, because it's kind of devil number. Oh, for like the Bible. And yeah, yeah. Christianity. So, oh, yeah. interesting. Okay. Thank you so much. Okay, thank you. All right, bye. 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 Thank you so much for watching, everyone. Once again, I'm Sean, and I'll see you next time. Bye.